She is right outside. Yes, good. Let's have a little talk with her. All right, get in here right now. Have a seat. Who is the author and what is the purpose of this message? So I'm thinking the author is a screenwriter looking through the lens of an adolescent. But what do you think the purpose is? That taking risks comes with consequences. Well, I think that sometimes a principal needs to put on his or her big kid pants and just be an adult. So, I understand you put some flyers up all over the school. Yes, I did. Punk, Miss Briggs! I'm calm. Harley, this is fine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not funny! Why would you photo dock my head onto the body of a rhinoceros? What techniques are used to attract and hold your attention? They use humor that would appeal to the target age group, exaggeration of speech and gesture to emphasize the overall absurdity of the situation, and suspense in initially keeping the subject of the photo hidden from view. Oh, I... Rhinoceros? Oh, no, no, no. She made you a hippopotamus. No, no. She's a rhinoceros. A hippo has better thighs than a wider snout. But the rhinos have fat thighs. No, the picture between them together is really tough. I mean, I what does it matter? I think we should call her phone when we need to discuss this. Um, my dad's stationed in Europe right now. What lifestyles, values, and points of view are represented in this message? In this clip, we see multiple viewpoints. We see the teacher feeling like she's a victim of an incident, and Carly is the villain who put her in the situation. We also see Carly, who seems to feel she is the victim, and is, the teacher is portrayed as the villain. The principal is a bystander caught in the middle. He's in the military. Well, there must be some adult in charge of her. My older brother, Spencer. Oh, yes. <laughs> the artist. He's a great artist. Look, we don't need to call your brother in about this. Are you sure that you can come up with a suitable punishment? <laughs> Fine. You know, Carly, I am in charge of the talent show this year. Yes. How might different people interpret this message differently? High school teachers might see this as realistic and painful, a little too close to home. Parents might see this as a slice of real life. Teenagers would laugh and see this punishment as empowering. Are you holding auditions on Saturday? No. You are. Huh? I will be enjoying my Saturday while you videotape the auditions for me. No, I'm going to see Cuttlefish play live at the Hogwarts on Saturday. Not anymore. Oh, come on. It's what you get for turning me into a hippopotamus. What's left out of this message? Is there prior history between Carly and the teacher? Why does the teacher trust Carly to videotape the auditions? Are the consequences reasonable? Thanks for helping us critically analyze iCarly.